Good afternoon, Bleed Big Blue Nation. It's Jay Zach, the intern from the podcast. Now, as you guys all know, Tim recently made a video in response to my video about Saquon Barkley and why we need to pass on him. I'm going to come out right out and say it. I disagree with Tim. This video is kind of my response to him and my counter argument. Now, before I even get started, guys, I want to talk about how we all need to remember that we have the same end goal here. We all want to make the Giants great again. Pun intended. Now, let's just keep that in mind and understand that we're all fan base of the same team. Let's have a, a very civilized debate on this issue, guys. Why don't we get on to my points here? One, Saquon Barkley, in my opinion, is a once in a generational talent. Once in a generational talent, you guys. I don't think that's very arguable. I don't think it's very arguable. I think almost everybody can agree with that. I think we need a running back more than we need a quarterback right now. My reasons for that is this. Like I said earlier, I'm not going to re-implement anything I said in the previous video about Davis Webb, right? You guys know why I have faith in him, okay? But I don't think it's worth grabbing a quarterback right now and having him sit on the bench competing for the second string spot for about a year or two. I would rather grab the once-in-a-generational talent Saquon Barkley and have him come in and immediately impact this offense in a great way. We all know the run opens up the pass. Look at Dallas. Dak Prescott, we all know, is not the best quarterback. He's having great success, but not because of his arm. They're having success because of Ezekiel Elliott's legs, because he can run the ball and then defenders are terrified of that ball being moved on the ground. So they have to stiffen up the box, move in more linebackers, and they have to bite on the play action. And if they do, then they have an easy ball over the top. We all know this, guys. That is why I think Saquon Barkley is more valuable to the Giants right now than Josh Rosen is. Another thing. Tim made a point about how Todd Gurley was taken early. David Johnson was taken late, Ezekiel Elliott was taken early, Jordan Howard was taken late, Leonard Fournette was taken early, Akeem Hunt was taken late. His point that he tried to make was, and he did make it, and it's a very fair point. Let me get on to that right now. It's a good point. It's a great point. The point was that there are later round running backs that shine, and you can actually even argue that the later round quarter, uh, running backs that were taken were better than the early round quarterbacks. I mean, running backs. Now, he also made the point about how some people like to say, well, what about the quarterbacks like Tom Brady and Russell Wilson? You know, they were taken late. And then he said, well, those guys are the exception. But Tim, isn't David Johnson, Jordan Howard, Akeem Hunt, aren't they the exception? Aren't they the exception just as much as Russell Wilson and Tom Brady? I think they are. The point comes down to this. Who do we need more now? That's based on opinion. Like I said, I think we need a running back now. Somebody who can come in and impact the offense immediately. Run, open up, open up the pass for Eli Manning. Get him some help because we all know we have run, We all know we have receivers. We have, in my opinion, the best receiver in the league, Odell Beckham Jr. We have one of the best slot receivers in the league, and we got a big body, Brandon Marshall. And God knows we have Evan Ingram. That man shined this season. We don't need help in the passing game. I mean, we do need help in the passing game, but not from the air. We need help on the ground. And in my opinion, that's going to come from Saquon Barkley. Now, another thing is I see a lot of opinions, and I completely agree with these, is that we're completely ignoring other spots that we need help in, like linebacker and offensive line, which is true. Which is true. And we're going to need help in the cornerback situation pretty soon as well. So my idea is to grab Saquon Barkley, have him immediately impact the offense, and then grab an offensive lineman or a linebacker in the second round. Let me know what you guys think, okay? I'm looking forward to it. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. Tell me what I'm wrong about. Help me out here, guys. You guys stay bleeding blue, all right? Don't forget to tune into our podcast.